Okay, let's talk very briefly about the patella component in a total knee replacement. So we spent a lot of time focusing on the femoral and the tibial components, but we're gonna spend just a few moments talking about the patella component. And this is what we call patella resurfacing. So if we look at a knee, three bones, femur, tibia, and then there's a kneecap. This kneecap is a sesamoid bone. It's within the quadriceps tendon, or what we call the extensor mechanism. The kneecap, tracks in the middle of the femur and it's important anytime you need to create power in a flex knee getting out of a chair going up and down stairs walking up a hill so what we do when we replace a kneecap is we evert the tendon and that all gives us exposure now the kneecap half of the kneecap is exposed the other half of the kneecap is bone embedded within the tendon so half this is the part covered with cartilage is exposed. Half is embedded in the tendon. What we do is we clean up the arthritic portion and then we replace it with a polyethylene button. This polyethylene button will then articulate or track with the groove, what we call the trochlea of the femoral component. So when the knee is flexed, the bones will glide rather than grind. So again, we've got a native or an organic patella sits in the middle of a groove. Undersurface gets removed and it gets replaced with a button. This button then tracks with the femur. So it looks like this. Femur, tibia. But very importantly, we see the button on the undersurface of the groove. This is what we talk about when we talk about replacing the patella. We're not replacing the whole bone. We're just replacing the undersurface, the area where there was previously cartilage. We're replacing the undersurface with a button so that it can glide against the metal surface of the femur. And that is a patella resurfacing.